Hi everyone, it's Samantha from The Dancing Soap Dish here. I hope you're doing well. I have these gorgeous little baby themed cookie molds in front of me. So it's a set that's comprised of a cutter and a stamp. People use them to make all sorts of lovely cookie designs, but I'm gonna use them today for my tweak of the week. That's right, we're gonna be making soap party favors from cookie cutters and stamps. And I think this might just revolutionize how we make soap party favors from now on. Why you may ask? Well, it's because there's just so many designs to pick from. Christmas, Easter, Halloween, Thanksgiving, weddings, babies, birthdays, you name it. And there seems to be a really cool stamp to go along with it. Lots of kids designs as well for kids birthday parties. So there really is heaps of possibilities. So back to these beautiful stamps. Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can use them to make little bars of soap. I've been experimenting with these cookie molds for nearly a year now, and I just haven't found the right technique. Um, you know, they're not made of silicon, they're made of plastic and the soap sticks to them. It's impossible to get out. Sometimes I try to like make my own little mold by sticking these two together and, and pouring the soap into it. Uh, but I just couldn't get it out. It was impossible. No matter what I did or how I tried to lubricate it, it just wasn't happening. Uh, so then I was inspired, uh, by some resin crafts that I was watching and I came up with this. This is a polyethylene tape that has been coated with silicon. So it's heat resistant to high temperatures and it's also non-stick and it won't leave, leave any tacky residue. And um, they use it in resin crafts for jewelry making. When they wanna make pendants, they can stick a, a metal pendant down onto the tape, fill it with resin and then it won't stick. And I thought that's really awesome. Can I do the same thing with melt and pour soap? So I tried sticking one of these cookie cutters uh, down flat onto the tape. And essentially it's just like giving it a, a silicon bottom, you know, it's like putting it on a silicon mat, except it's tacky. So the cutter sticks to it quite well. Uh, and then you can fill it with soap and do whatever you want. And the only problem is, is that this isn't a very wide tape. It's only five centimeters wide or about two inches. And a lot of these cookie cutters are much um, bigger than that. So, what to do. So I did some looking online and I found this. So this is the same tape, but it's double the width. It's 10 centimeters wide, which is um, plenty big enough for all of these cookie cutters that I have here. It's a slightly different color because it's from a different manufacturer, but it's essentially the same stuff. Um, it's silicon coated, it's heat resistant, and uh, it's completely non-stick. So today I'm gonna to use it to make some baby shower favors. So here we are, I've uh, just cut up some bits of tape and I've already stuck down my cookie cutters onto the tape. It's very easy to do. What you wanna do is you wanna use this flat side, this thicker flat side, this side's too thin. This flat side here is what you want. And basically you just make sure that your tape is sitting nice and flat and you push the cookie cutter down onto it. Um, I don't like to do too many cookie cutters on the one piece of tape because if one of them is slightly um, crooked or slightly has the tape with a, a wobble in it, then it'll affect them all. So, But then all you have to do is just make sure that you push down firmly on the edge of the cookie cutter and make sure that that tape is firmly adhering to the cookie cutter, which you can normally tell just by, by looking at the color. It's, uh, it's actually quite handy that it's tinted slightly green because uh, you can see when it's fully adhered to the pink cookie cutter, it goes a slightly different color. So that shows you that it is stuck in all sections and there isn't any gaps or anything like that. And you also wanna make sure that your tape is just nice and flat as well. Cause if it has got a bit of a wobble in it uh, or a bit of a crease that will show up in your soap. You may be wondering if you can actually just use the, the thinner roll of tape, the two inch roll of tape, because as that's more readily available uh, and sort of stick it to itself to make a longer piece of tape and use it that way. I did try that. I was semi-successful. If there was any sort of gap, 
between the two pieces, the um the melt and pour soap managed to find a way through it and leak through it. Melt and pour soap is just like that. And also, even when it did work, I found I could see the line that was um where the two pieces of tape met. <clears throat> So I ended up with a line right down the center of my soap bar and that's not ideal. So that's why I chose to go for just a wider tape to make sure I didn't have any of those issues. Okay, now I'm just popping all these cookie cutters that have been taped up uh, just on a paper lined tray. I'm going to start weighing out some soap. I'm weighing out 300 grams today, which is 10.6 ounce. I'm also adding a little bit extra for wastage. Uh, you might be asking, how do I know how much soap I'm going to need um, to, to fill up these cookie cutters since they're all different shapes and sizes? Uh, I am, I'm working on that. I think I found like a little trick, a little sort of um, hack that you can work it out quite easily. So I might share that in a future video. Okay, I've melted some white melt and pour soap base. I am scenting it with a beautiful baby flavored scent. Um, I'm actually gonna go for this beautiful sea green. I want like a nice pastel sea green. Um, obviously pink and blue are the obvious choices, but you, you know, sometimes people don't know what baby they're having. So you need to have some of the neutral colors in mind too. I've also got some isopropyl alcohol on hand and I've given this a good stir to make sure the fragrance and the color is fully integrated and I'm going to start pouring. So just gonna fill up my molds most of the way. And then I will spray it with isopropyl alcohol, which will get rid of those surface bubbles that you can see forming there. There we go. And then I'm going to go back and try and top it up as close as I can to the top. Maybe even sort of go over the top. You know how sometimes the soap kind of, you can get like sort of a bulbous dome uh, where it goes higher than the edge of the mold. So that's what I'm actually aiming for. And the reason for that is... I know that this soap base that I'm using is prone to shrinking as it sets. And these hard plastic cookie cutters aren't like a silicon soap mold that have a bit of give in them. Um, they're, you know, pretty solid. And so as the soap sets and shrinks, it's going to sort of pull against the edges and I'm going to get a bit of a wrinkly effect on it. Uh, so here we are, it's half an hour later. They have set, and as predicted, I have wrinkly soap. But I knew that was going to happen. It's just what it's just the type of base that I like to use. It, it happens a lot. Uh, so this might happen to you. It might not happen to you, depending on which soap base you're using. It's very easy to do because I overfilled the molds. I'm just going to use a sharp knife just to cut off um, the very top surface of the soap, and I can use the edge of the cookie cutter as a guide. Uh, and then I'm just going to give it a little rub on this paper towel just to smooth it out. And there you go. Now I have a nice, beautiful, smooth bottom, which is exactly what I wanted. So that's just an easy fix and a trick. If you know that um, the soap you have is going to shrink and sort of give you that look. It's just basically because the, uh, the edges of the cookie cutter are so solid, they're not going to give. And then as the soap shrinks, it sort of pulls and you end up with that, the skin on top sort of being a little bit wrinkly as it's pulled in every direction. So there we go. Some of these aren't filled quite high enough to get all the wrinkles off, but that's okay. I can give them uh, another trim later on as well. Uh, well you know, when you're making party favors, you want them to be perfect because you're gonna be giving them out to, to guests and friends. It's not just for personal use. Uh, so you want them to look absolutely spot on. Okay, time to peel back the tape. It's very easy. All you do is just peel it back, keep it, because yes, you can reuse it. Uh, absolutely, a few more times. And look at the beautiful, flat, perfect surface we're getting from the top of these cookie cutters. Absolutely perfect. Exactly what I wanted. Now I'm going to match up the cookie stamps. 
with each of the cookie cutters and I want to emboss the design that's on the stamp into the soap. So the easiest way to do that is with a hammer. Uh, the soap is too hard for you to be able to just press it in with your fingers. I mean, this soap, I only let it set for half an hour and it's actually quite soft. It's possibly too soft. I should have let it set for a little bit longer, but I wanted to finish this video. So it's, it's probably a little bit softer than I'd like to be working with at this point, but even then you still need a hammer. So I'm using the hammer to hammer it in all different angles. Now I can also just push the, the soap a little bit out of the cookie cutter and again use the bottom as a guide to scrape off a little bit more of that bottom because it was still a little bit wrinkly. Pull the cookie cutter, sorry, the cookie stamp out. There we go. And then push your soap out of the cookie cutter with your thumbs. Remove the stamp. And there you have it. Some little baby bloomers. Or is it a diaper? Whatever it is, it's cute. Okay, so some tips when you're doing this part of the process. Um, so you're hammering away and the cookie stamp is getting pushed pretty firmly into the surface of the soap. Uh, like I said, this is plastic, it's not silicon and it will stick to the soap. So make sure that you actually pull the stamp away from the soap before you push the soap out of the cookie cutter. And here is a perfect example here. I'm pushing the soap out of the cookie cutter first, and then I can't actually get the stamp off the soap. You need to use the edges of the cookie cutter as leverage to lever the stamp off the soap. So pull out the stamp first. Yeah, this one's stuck quite well, there we go. And then I put the stamp back on again to push the soap through the cookie cutter just because I don't want any thumbprints in it. So that's why I put the stamp back on there. And then a second time, the stamp is much easier to get off because you've already loosened it. So make sure you do that. Another tip is to make sure that you hammer the stamp in enough. Uh, if you just sort of push it lightly or give it a light hammering, it's not really a great impression. Uh, so it does need quite a bit of hammering as you can see here and it also needs to be hammered from all angles. I even hammer on top of the handle or else you'll find that the edges will be quite defined but the center won't. Uh, sorry that you can't see me slicing off those bits. I obviously didn't have my camera in quite the right spot but there we go. Uh, if Again if there's any wobbly bits on the bottom you can slice them off. Give it another clean up. I'm going to push this one through and this one is a pair of cute little baby overalls. So cute. Uh, next we have the baby bottle. And another troubleshooting tip is that once you've hammered down your stamp, if you still can't get it to release from the soap, even with using the sides of the cookie cutter as leverage, as you can see here with this one, I'm having all sorts of trouble you can actually take your hammer and very lightly tap the handle of the stamp from the side just to loosen it so that it can come off. Just very gently because you don't want to ruin the image that you've embossed there. Uh, but that's also a way you can do it if you're struggling to get uh, the cookie stamp away from the soap. Uh, so here we have a pacifier. We call them uh, dummies in Australia. Good old dummy spit. That's a phrase used to describe someone who's throwing a bit of a tantrum that we use over here. Uh, and the very last one, we have a cute little baby in its pram. Uh, just making sure I'm being very thorough when I, I hammer this one because it's uh, quite a large design. It's probably my largest soap. There we go. Shave off that little bit off the bottom. There we are. So there's no more wrinkles on the bottom of that. Release the stamp and then push the soap through. And there we go. We have six beautiful pastel green 
baby shower soaps stamped in six different designs. I think they're cute. I think they're gorgeous. You know, you can wrap them individually or you could put them all together, you know, on a face washer in a box and give them as a gift set maybe to an expectant mother. They're just gorgeous. I hope you enjoyed this tweak of the week. Get yourself some silicon PET tape and the cutest little cookie cutters you can find and make your own gorgeous soap favors. Check out the description of this video for where you can find supplies and don't forget to like and subscribe if you love what we do. Thanks guys, enjoy.